So turnout is the whole business. That's what that's the whole technique is built on turnout. So you, you're very flexible in the knees and the ankles and the hips. So you could actually fake it if if you if we wanted to do that. <clears throat> not everybody has that flexibility, and it's not good to use that anyway. That's how you end up hurt later. But so how we develop turnout, you can vouch for this, right? So just do a tondu to the side and hold. Okay. Yeah, just do a tondu to the side. Okay. So now there's more room for the hips to rotate, right? So here's what's gonna happen uh, in the subscription. We're gonna start from scratch how to do turnout, right? Which is to stand in a pose and just slightly engage. For girls, it'll be the line of your leotard. For guys, it's just whatever. And then go and do one, two, three with the right leg. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, okay, and close. Now when, oh, that was good. Are you gonna, are you gonna, Die right now if you release. Okay, try to release and try to like smile while you're doing it. <laughs> you're like, all right, I feel like I got shot in the back, but uh, is that more or less what it feels like? Yeah. Took a bullet in the yeah. It's worse. Uh, the the release you will find probably will hurt more than the actual yeah. engagement sometimes. That's true. Yeah. All right, stand again, and let me just explain. You don't have to stand fully engaged. So when, when we're first conditioning our hips and legs and everything for turnout, you, you're going to do it in the out position. When you close, that's when it's hardest to hold it, right? When you close, everything wants to go backward. I mean, the hips and the butt, right? So here's what we do. And this is, so Ronda's arm is really the, the, the best exercise for that because you don't close. So go ahead and tondu, let's stand up. Let me do it. Front side, go slowly. Heel ball toe, right? Okay. And so I'll come along, and so I'm going to say, step on the left one hard. Step on the left one hard, straighten the right one. Pull yourself forward with this one, let the toes slide, straighten this one further, and slowly to the side, doing that, stretch, 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 stretch. This is rotating, this is rotating, and do another one. Just go back and front, I mean, go like, yeah, yeah. So twist, straighten the left, go, straighten the left every time you move. Straighten the left, and side, and close to two legs. And collapse of a heart attack. Let's real quick, I just wanna give them a true, you're in socks, I'm in socks. You're almost there, man. Yeah. You're almost there. So I'm 6'2", you've gotta be 6 to 6'1". Six yeah, somewhere in there. You're 15. What's wrong with you? Stop growing. It's, it's, you know, to be honest with you, you know, it's hell for you, if we're being honest. Yeah, it's, a, it's hell to do this because, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you want to share your weight. I'll go first. So I'm like, I go between 210 and 205. You hover between... I hover between 225 to 230. Yeah. This is a heavyweight fighter-sized man. You know what I mean? <clears throat> the rotation is just... So, you know, <clears throat> let me ask you this. So you've just done, why, this is a little bit of that, why are you sweating? Like he's sweating, and I even wiped it once. He's sweating, and it, w just by doing like one exercise and a little bit of chatting. Yeah. And this is for, a lot for the guys. It's just different being a guy than a girl in terms of, one thing is you can generate a lot more power, you know, not only as a male, but as you. You know, look at the size of these sticks, you know what I mean? So he can crank a lot of power out, which is why your classes are like 30 to 45 minutes yeah. on a good day. On a good day. Sometimes it's 20 and then I yeah. did one side and that's it. Yeah. So going through adolescence, this is going to be our main point of discussion, I think, in the podcast and then in the car and then what we demonstrate. And girls, you have your own version of it, to totally, a completely different, maybe even more difficult because it's internal. But guys, it's weight and size. Yeah. That, that's our, and it's physics. Gravity is our, go ahead. My, my muscles uh, are more kid, 15 in strength yeah. than my weight class. Yeah, for example, so you're heavier than me and nearly the same size, but arm wrestling, still no chance. Yeah. Yet, you'll destroy me in like a couple years probably. But for now, there's a real discrepancy, right? Yeah. And you go, why, why would that be? Yeah, because you still have young guy muscle density and all that kind of stuff. You just don't have your man strength yet. However, 
So doing tricks, like you've seen whoever, the old butters yeah. know, do tricks. So but here's the thing. There, again, it's a physics question. So butters and is probably about here. Something like yeah. that, right? No offense, man, but it's just the way it is. So the smaller guys and the, and the thinner guys are going to get to tricks quicker than you. You're going to take an extra two or three years of strength building. However, you can be a partner now and lift girls over your head and stuff. See, so that's, you know, it's like any activity. Some of us are built for running, not us. Not me, some yeah. of us are built for basketball. Some of us are built for soccer. Some of us are built for whatever. We have different roles to play and you need everybody. You need the little athletic guys that can do tricks and <clears throat> court jester and all that. And then you need your romantic leads. You need your, you know, I mean, they used to be princes and I think we can be more creative than we don't need monarchical stories, but nonetheless, you're the size and strength even now to part, be a partner, which all the ladies need. You ladies know that. You can't advance through the ranks without a partner, like a consistent partner. That's always the hard part. You ladies know this, especially like pre-professional. Most of the girls don't ever do partnering until they get to a company and then they've not ex have, they have no experience, so it's very uncomfortable. And the guy's usually burnt out because it's like one guy or two guys per dance school. Maybe the bigger schools have yeah. a handful. So they're, you Actually know, like 10 to 15 yeah, at yeah once. 10 girls to one guy or something. Uh, and so they, you don't really get a chance to fine tune your skills because you're trading partners all the time. Ideally, you want a partner or two. But in the old, the old ways, you would have one partner that you worked with your whole career mostly. I mean, you might do some other things sometimes, but mainly in the theater, if you're a part of like bullshit theater, you would have your partner and she would have you and you would master each other. You, like, you wouldn't even have to speak about it, right? Yeah. And that's what, where great art comes from in choreography. So anyway. Um, so ladies, this is the future partner right here. Mm -hmm. And you should actually, 15 is the age they officially start, in the big schools anyway. Mm -hmm. And, but a lot of the guys don't have, you see the shoulders on this back? Anyway, I was going to use the language we use together. So it's shoulders, it's hips, it's big legs. That's where the power comes from, it comes from your legs and shoulders and stuff. So we're going to be looking for partners for you, right? Probably three to five, maybe 10 to 12. It'd be nice to get another guy, it'd be nice to get one other guy different than you and uh well any guy will be fine and, and then like 10 or 12 girls your age and then we could do some interesting stuff so to create a series on our subscription this is i think what we're going for but you're never going to find a better uh, partner than this ever this is lucky you know that you exist they know i have enough physical strength to you'll get strong pretty quick another year or two you'll be muscles will harden yeah well you you're 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 <laughs> Okay, your gym is going to be partnering girls yeah. and yeah, young women, young women, right? And so you'll get all the strength that you need exactly how you need it. See, this is the thing, weightlifting is not going to, it wouldn't hurt, I guess, but it, it won't help as much as just developing the strength that you need specific to the task. That's how training works, right? Yeah. You can't be a golfer and then go hit a baseball. Golf doesn't help the baseball swing, right? You need to practice what you're doing, going to do technically so in this case it's one-handed lifts it's all kinds of things and it's technical and you'll develop all the strength that you need for that so anyway